objective of this video is to make you familiar with identification of few components of cells and tissues under light microscopy which will help you uh, throughout your professional career histology slides in this series are used as tools uh, to make you understand what happens microscopically in certain conditions that make human sick rather than expecting you to diagnose uh, diseases as a histopathologist in the same way as uh, x-rays were used as a tool to understand different conditions of lungs rather than expecting you to become a radiologist histopathology and radiology are two very dedicated and specialized fields both need uh, exten extensive knowledge of human anatomy and pathophysiology and other aspects of medical uh, education but at the same time these are two very very powerful tools to help young medical students understand what they need to understand for the profession and that is what we are doing so try to understand the basic essentials rather than uh, going into the details uh, at this moment in light microscopy you need to understand what is a stain staining in simple terms is the use of colors that are added to a tissue to help human eye identify different structures without these added colors some of these structures become difficult to differentiate from others especially for beginners who do not have a wealth of experience and knowledge as uh, trained pathologists uh, have most commonly used uh, stain is hematoxylin and eosin hematoxylin is a base or basic dye that is likely to give a bluish color to acidic components of cells such as nuclei any component of a cell that has a pH of less than 7 will have a bluish tint under the influence of this dye pH of less than 7 represents that a liquid is acidic eosin is an acid that gives a pinkish or pink color to the components of cells that have a pH of more than 7 so they are bases so cytoplasm is usually pink fibrin and connective tissue are also pink and proteins uh, appear pink under this stain as a rule of thumb when hematoxylin and eosin technique is applied to human or animal cells nuclei appear bluish in color all these are nuclei of cells countless of them and the cytoplasm appear pinkish so so this is cytoplasm of this cell the purpose of this exercise is to identify three or four main structures of a cell under microscope the sample under microscope is from trachea which is lined by ciliated pseudo stratified epithelium this is the lumen of trachea and the inner lining of trachea is made up of pseudo stratified rather ciliated pseudo stratified columnar epithelium which also has numerous uh, mucus producing goblet uh, cells so these goblet uh, cells produce mucus and as I said these are ciliated pseudo stratified these cells have hair like structures known as cilia on their surfaces these cilia are attached to the cytoskeleton of these cells of course you cannot see that here uh, but these uh, cilia move in a synchronized way to uh, push the mucus up towards the nasopharynx 
there is a basement membrane and all the cells are attached to this uh, basement membrane and although it appears as there are several layers of cells but the cells uh, all are attached to the basement membrane directly means this is a single row of cells but they have nuclei in different positions and uh, it uh, feels that uh, this uh, there are multiple rows the excess uh, amount of mucus production such as in asthma or damage to cilia because of uh, cigarette smoking for example can cause uh, mucus plugging often a common cause of collapse of lobes of lungs in young asthmatic people uh, we have seen examples of lower collapse on chest x-rays and we have seen several examples so some of the things that we wanted to identify were nuclei, cytoplasm, plasma membrane and uh, so so the nuclei appear bluish in color the cytoplasm is pinkish and you can see uh, plasma membranes separating cells and as you know that uh, every human cell is covered by a phospholipid bilayer which is known as plasma membrane it also has uh, proteins and other components in it it often appears as thin boundary between the cells and cytoplasm appears pinkish because most of its components are uh, most of its proteins are basic in nature means cytoplasm has a pH of more than 7 connective tissue is visible in this area and it usually appears uh, as a pinkish band of tissue again with bluish nuclei within it a blood vessel is visible with uh, red blood cells uh, in it and red blood cells do not have a uh, nuclei they are anucleated cells and they appear red another lung tissue and you can see a uh, flattened nuclei of uh, nemocytes type 1 cells these are uh, alveolar walls and nemocytes type 2 nuclei of the nemocytes type 2 are rounded in shape and the type 1 cells uh, have flattened nuclei thank you very much